Welcome to the channel that is about all things career development. So that is bursaries, learnerships, graduate programs, as well as growing your career all the way to the C-suite. If that is you, hit the subscribe button. I look forward to getting to know you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Noktula Kongo and this is a channel where we're about all things career development. So today I want to talk to you about a tool or a toolkit that you can use one to help you find a mentor to build that mentorship relationship and rapport this will help you to prepare for interviews this will help you in a network situation just so you have something to say besides the small talk and the awkwardness and it will also help you if you whether you're in business or in career and you want to enter a particular industry and what this is is an informational interview and two years back i did a video and basically this is an upgrade of that video and basically what an informational interview it is exactly just that informational information interview and this helps you get insight because ideally the person you would be conducting an informational interview with is somebody who is I guess so somebody would call a subject matter expert or somebody who is more knowledgeable about the skill or the sector or the industry or the job or the company is more knowledge it has more information than you so that is what the informational interview is about and for example in the mentorship setup before I just go to how you can conduct it and some of the questions and just the tools that you can use in this in this situation so uh, the CEO of uh, Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg, 2011, she published a book called Lean In. And one of the things she spoke about there when she was talking about mentoring is that quite often, um, I've also been guilty of this at some point, is that people would normally go up to somebody they admire and they will say, will you be my mentor? And yeah she she posed that there's certain challenges to that you know there was an analogy you know it's almost like going going around and asking are you my mother and there's even a media mogul for example oprah winfrey also admitted that it is a bit uncomfortable when somebody says will you be my mentor because yeah and also there's somebody else who is a mentor and in my life who said when somebody asks will you be my mentor they sometimes wonder is the person asking will you reparent me so it's quite tricky but an informational interview will help you build that relationship because ideally in the mentorship setup and it's another whole other video on its own you want to build a rapport with the individual then the mentorship relationship evolves and that person becomes your mentor so ideally if you are looking for a mentor you would approach the person with a business problem a a challenge that you have and ask them questions and then the rapport would build the chemistry etc and then you can continue give them feedback and we'll, we'll talk about that another day but this will help you to start that mentorship relationship and so in talking about informational interview whether you want to use it for a mentorship to prepare for an interview or in a network setup I am going to share and this is not the only model but I absolutely love this model it's a model by a author who is um, in the career development space is about helping graduate masters graduates into the world of work etc he wrote a book called the two-hour job search and this is Steve Dalton and he has what is called the tiara framework so it's basically T-I-A-R-A -A. and as the, the, the acronym TRS stands for the different types of questions that you can ask. So think about it. This is you talking to somebody, you are preparing for a job interview. This person is already doing the kind of job you want to get at a similar company and you would ask them questions like one of the earlier questions they've agreed to connect, you've connected with them on LinkedIn They've agreed to have a telephone interview with you. 
you one of the questions you some of the questions you'd ask them are what is called trend questions so it's the t for for the tiara and for trend questions you'd ask for example what are some of the trends that are impacting the business right now or what are some of the trends that are in impacting the sector right now think about that question it gives you an insight into the mind of someone who is in that situation on a daily basis i think that is awesome because how will you then use this information think about it when we get to the interview you can be able to use tangible current information because yeah dr google is wonderful but it has its limitations the next types of questions that you would then ask are what is called insights questions so an example of an insight question would be what can i do now to prepare myself for a career in this field or what can i do now to prepare my business to ensure that my business is ready for opportunities when they arise etc so you can rephrase the question again you are getting insight into an insider's mind who is in the space who is an expert so again one of the things you will find that individuals really it's easier for them to give you information like i'm giving you information now than to give you a job because you know for me personally sometimes i i want to help the whole world but when somebody asks asks me no tool like can you hook me up with a job that is very tricky but i can hook you up with the skills that will help you get the job and it will be up to you how to work those skills and then the next type of question is what is called an advice question advice is exactly just that so you'd ask the person what are some of the resources should i look into uh, what are some of the articles can i consider what journals should i be subscribing to uh, magazines etc again what this does it gives you even a deeper insight from somebody who is an expert in this field and then there's research so um some of the research questions would include would include things like um you know that we've spoken about articles uh, that you are reading what um what networking events should you consider as well as then lastly there's what is called assignment questions you can ask this person about what types of assignments have had an impact on their on, you know have an, an impact on their growth and you know what about those assignments made a difference what was so key and one of the things i personally love about this is at some point we will in on this channel we'll be talking about salary negotiation and one of the things i love talking about is that beyond just negotiating for a salary also negotiate for opportunities that will give you exposure that will you know will increase the the equity of your brand that will increase the weight of who you are when you come into the room and only certain experiences can allow you can allow you that one they will expose you to different people but also will just expose you to they will it will stretch you and expose you to a different way of thinking so what i absolutely love assignment questions so i am going to link uh, steve dalton's book below and all other information below i encourage you to and other research or more detail on on this tiara framework there is other informational interview information out there i will review it at, a, at another time but i specifically wanted to just talk on the tiara framework and what an awesome tool it is for you to help you network find mentors build those ment mentorship relationships as well as yes ace your next interview so if this information has been helpful please do like and comment below just say yes helpful or say no you left out this or you know please just comment i really value your opinion i want to grow this channel tell me noctula you know what your lighting is i don't know just share your thoughts with me i appreciate you thank you for watching i look forward to seeing you next video diabulela